Hello, this video is going to provide you a brief summary of the Access Pulse software uh, in relation to the menu structure. I'm just going to open up the software. In this case I've set up the software to enforce an employee to log in with their PIN number. I'm going to log in as 100 which is my authority level as administrator. Once I've done that I can see the main menu of the software. I'll take you across there. We've got point of sale, stock control, stock reports, debtors or customer accounts, suppliers and utilities. Now I'm going to exit, I'll come back to all that in a minute but I'm just going to exit out of the software. Now I'm going to log in as employee 200. Now employee 200 has restrictions. If I select the point of sale menu we can see some of the items here are greyed out or they have been restricted access stock control we can still see some items like receive stock has been restricted this can apply right throughout the software so anything we can customize that to suit your own needs and there is no limit to the number of different authority levels for your employees I'm just going to exit out of the software again I'm going in this occasion I'm going to log in as employee 300 now employee 300 only has point of sale rights so the pulse screen is immediately presented to that, that operator uh, and they cannot do any back office functionality. So if they exit out of the pulse screen it will just take them straight back to the Windows desktop. Now let's open up the software and log in with 100 being the administrator and give you a brief sort of look through this menu. Okay the first option under point of sale is point of sale which is our main pulse screen for our retail store. We do offer specialized functionality for wholesale or you know back I'll call it back office sales. Um, these four options here directly relate to each other. We set up sales representatives, we can have commissions structures set up, we can do quotations for people with a quote number. Uh, if the quotations have approved, we can import that into our wholesale poll screen, we can have different price levels, we can assign customer names, addresses to sales, etc. We've got audit trail. If I go into an audit trail I can then select any particular transaction. I'll give you a quick run through that. Uh, in this case it's been selected for today. We've done four transactions. I can highlight or select a transaction and then the details of that transaction are shown down the bottom here. I could either reprint that receipt or email the receipt. Um, I can go back at any time in history. I can select a date uh, to reprint or to analyze any particular transaction I like. I'm going to close here, go back to our point of sale menu. We've got lay by, we've got loyalty, they're both optional software modules uh, as well as FPOS integration is also an option. They're the only three options to the main software. It's lay by, loyalty and, and, and credit card or FPOS integration. Uh, we've got end of day report. Normally we actually do that through our pulse screen, although we can do it from the main menu structure here. Um, reprinting previous end of day reports. Audit reporting, that's quite a powerful section of the software. If there's a discrepancy or there's something I want to find, for example, just say I did a discount last week, last Wednesday, and I want to see what, uh, who did that or what, you know, which operator, I can uh, do whatever I like in terms of drilling down and finding particular transactions that concern us. Um, daily journal, POS journal, just a complete audit trail of every transaction for a specific day. Uh, watch POS, that's a screen we can go into. You'd normally only have that running if you had a back office PC. That's where we can open up that screen and I can actually watch live transactions going on other POS computers in the network. Stock control, have a full stock control in the software, adding, editing new products, setting up specials. They can be quite, you know, either simple single items or com more complex combo type specials. We can also assign starting and ending dates to those as well. Stock reorder reporting, receive stock from an invoice, stock taking we can do that either by uh, manual stock take where we print out the, the sheets and uh, physically do a, a manual stock take and write it on a sheet or we can do it via a, a scanner and import it into the software. Um, we've got various industry supplies where they 
produce electronic invoices where we can import that straight into the software. They apply, you know, Met Cash is a common one in the grocery supermarket area. We've got other stock, various stock utilities. Stock reports, we have a large number of stock reports. The main ones here, daily, weekly and monthly business analysis reports. To be honest with you, that's all you really need to run their business. Um, there's other sort of reports, category sales reports, that could be done by a simple summary version or by PLU or stock. We've got subcategories, operator sales reports, gross profit, cost of goods sold. Running down here, we've got stock value reports, best sellers, specials, specials report, programming product lists, everything's covered in our, our reports. Debtors or customer accounts is where we would add a customer account. We can make inquiries about them, make payments off customer accounts, produce various reports, print statements or we can email statements. We can mass charge customer accounts, or that say I call it a monthly administration fee, other debtor utilities. Suppliers, we can set up suppliers. Well, obviously we need to set up suppliers if we're doing stock control and we want to receive the stock in via an invoice. So we set up our suppliers here. We can got various supplier reports, processing supplier payments, payments reports, various invoices reports, and other utilities. Now we've got utilities off our main menu. The top section here allows you to connect to the Access POS website and gain online help. You can send us an email directly from the, the POS software for support. Preset fast key. What that does is that allows you to preset all your fast keys for your touch screen for your point of sale screen. Um, system code setup. These are typically one-off type setup procedures. Setting up product categories, subcategories, setting up tender types, data categories stock location, different stock location points for our stock control. Got BASH reporting. It's quite handy. Defaults to the last three months or the last quarter. Just one click of a button gives you all the information you need to submit your BASH form. Setting up our printers. Producing product and shelf labels. You'll need a, a, a label printer attached to the system for that. Setting up our employee operators. That's for our POS screen. I said to you we can set it up so we can have an employee having to log in for each transaction in the POS. Uh, we can whatever, whatever is required in your part. All banking facilities, importing files, typically how we set up a new system if our customer supplies us with a uh, supplier in, uh, import file that we can import. Makes it quick and easy to set up your system. And then there's other system options. Thank you.